This is the last set of notes for chapter four. So the last set of notes for spring break. The last topic we are covering is word problems. This really isn't anything new. All we are doing is taking equations and using the solving methods we already know. We're going to do three examples, then we'll take a break. First example has to do with what is called Newton's rate of cooling. A can of soda at 79 degrees is placed in a refrigerator that maintains a constant temperature of 36 degrees Fahrenheit. The temperature T of the soda T minutes after it is placed in the refrigerator is given by that function. When to the nearest minute will the soda be 45 degrees? Each of these problems, there's a few things you're looking for. You will always be given an equation. So that's the equation that we will use. Next thing, the variables will be defined. So we are told that big T is the temperature of the soda, and we are told that little t is in minutes. From the question, we should be able to determine what we are looking for. So it says when to the nearest minute. That tells us we are looking for little t. If we are looking for little t, we must know big T, the temperature, which we do, which is 45. So then we're going to use the equation that we were given. So big T is that 45. And we need to solve for little t. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 36 from both sides. So that gives me 9 equals 43e to the negative 0.058t. Again, I'm trying to get t alone. So I'm going to divide by 43. Don't simplify that fraction. We're going to go to the calculator eventually, so there's no reason to unnecessarily simplify something. So we get down to this point then. At this point, we need to solve for t. So the question is, is there any way for me to remove the t from the e? And we should be thinking, no, there's not an option to do that. So from here, we can solve two different ways. The first way is the form that we're in is no longer helpful. This is exponential form. So if we're in exponential and it's not helpful, we can switch to log form. Second option, we can take the log of both sides. So, log form is going to be a good option if we have a good base. So, this will be a good option if the base is 10 or E. So, if the base is 10 or E, then switching to log form is going to be best. If not, log of both sides will always work. So, in this case, we have a base of E, so we're going to switch forms. We get log base E of 9 over 43 is equal to negative 0.058t. Log base e, though, is just natural log. So I'm going to replace that with a natural log. So then if I'm solving for t, to get t alone, I'm going to divide by negative 0.058t. So our t is going to be the natural log of 9 over 43 all over negative 0.058. At this point, we're going to have to go to the calculator to get an approximation. On the calculator, you're going to type this in exactly how it appears. There is an LN button. So there is an LN button. It should be on the left-hand column of your calculator. Okay, so we get an answer of about 26.97, but the question says to the nearest minute, so the nearest minute is going to be 27 minutes. That's the first one. Any questions before we try another one?
Okay, so let's look at example two then. The amount of money A in dollars in an account after T years is modeled by that equation. How much money is in the account after 12 years? Here's what we should be looking at. We have an equation. So I said that's the first thing that we're going to be given. Second thing, the variables will be defined. So A is the amount of money in dollars in the account. T is the number of years. Part A should tell us what we're looking for. How much money tells us that we're looking for A, which means we know T, which in our case is 12 years. So all we're doing then is using our equation and plugging in 12 for T. So we get 800 times 1.08 to the 12th power. That, you just need to type into your calculator exactly how it appears. So do that now, please. Type it in exactly how it appears. What do you think we should round to? How many decimal places? Two, right? Dollars and cents. So I got an amount of about $2,014.54. You all agree? Okay, so then in part B, how long, that refers to T, how long would you expect it to take the account to have $1,350? So that's A. This time we're given A, we're solving for T. Here's what's really important. It says give an exact solution and then approximate to the closest year. So exact solution is what your solution looks like before it goes into the calculator. So let's try this one. In our equation, we're going to put in 1,350 for A equals 800, 1.08 to the T. Which T is what we're looking for. And that's what we're solving for. So start by dividing by 800. Again, there is no reason to simplify that fraction. We're going to be using the calculator eventually, so no reason to simplify it. You can, it's just unnecessary extra work. So at this point, again, we have two options. We're in exponential form. We've run out of things to do, so we can switch to log form. So let's try that. If we switch to log form, we get log, the base is 1.08, of 1350 over 800 equals t. Now the question is, how do we put that in our calculator? Some of you have a calculator that might give you the option of putting the base in. Most of us do not, though. So. so on your calculator, you should have a log button. Do you see that log button? It's above the ln. On your calculator, you see that? Yeah. What's the base of that log? 10, which is not what we have. So calculator, not going to be that helpful if we're trying to calculate this log. So this would be an option where instead of converting to log form, it's going to be easier to use the calculator if we take the log of both sides. So when we do that, we're going to get the log of 1,350 over 800 is equal to the log of 1.08 to the t. And we've talked about the whole reason to do that is that the coefficient or the power can come out in front. So I get log of 1,350 over 800 is equal to T times the log of 1.08. So then if I divide by the log of 1.08, I get T is equal to the log of 1350 over 800 over the log of 1.08. Can I cancel out those logs? No. No, cannot cancel out those logs. This is the exact solution. The approximate solution is now going to come when we go to the calculator. So type this in exactly how it appears to your calculator, please. This time, though, use the log button.
I got about 6.8, which rounded to the nearest year is about seven years. And so seven years would be the approximate solution. This next example, I would like you to do. So give this one a try. You're doing parts A and B. You're going to need a calculator. Good luck. Okay, first one, part A. Brand new Jeep means that time is zero. So you should substitute zero into the equation, which means that the Jeep, as you're driving it off the lot, you paid $31,850. How about cheap for a This problem is a few years old, to say the least. If someone put one, would you have like given like more credit? A uh, question like part A would be worth one point. So it's going to be right or wrong. But now, now you know. Next time you zero. Part B, how old? You're looking for T. So our price we put as 20000 Get that 0.82 to the T alone. And then two ways you could do it. First way is switch to log form, if you can put that in your calculator, which it seems like quite a few of you can. This is considered exact. Or if you can't, take the log of both sides. The exponent would come in front, and you would end up dividing by log of 0.82. So you need to express your answer as exact and approximate to the nearest year. Nearest year is two years. I will take off if you put 2.34 because you did not follow the directions. Does that not seem crazy to you that you pay almost $32,000 for a car and two years later it's worth $20,000? Is that like the cost of Yes. Very sad. Yeah, it's still going to depreciate, but it lost a lot of its value already. Yes, that's true. 